What plates form the Ethiopian Rift Valley? There are three tectonic plates forming the East African Rift Valley. These two plates are also pulling away from the Arabian Plate which lies to the north in Southwest Asia. The East African Rift Valley is consequently also known as the Afro-Arabian Rift Valley. What is happening at the African Rift Valley? The African Rift Valley is splitting the continent of Africa into two sections. The Nubian tectonic plate is on the western side of a fault line and the Somalian tectonic plate is on the eastern side. Both tectonic are young, geologically speaking, and are pulling apart from each other as volcanoes erupt, spilling lava into the widening fractures called rifts. A long time from now geologists predict the African Rift Valley will be new sea basin, fully separating the eastern coast of Africa from the mainland. What type of plate boundary is the African Rift Valley? The plate boundary of the African Rift Valley is where relatively new Nubian tectonic plate and Somalian tectonic plate meet. These plates are pulling apart from each other, thinning the Earth's crust while it simultaneously widens. This process has been happening for at least 100 million years. It will take many million more years for a new sea basin to form completely along this plate boundary. The Great Rift Valley is known as a main site of human evolution. In the late 1900s, anthropologist Donald Johansson found the near-intact skeleton of a hominid. This skeletal remain was a representation of an Australopithecus hominid that Johansson named Lucy and is an ancestor of humans. What and where is the African Rift Valley? The African Rift Valley is a series of rift basins, many of which dip below sea level. This system of rift basins spread across Africa, from the northern part of the continent by the Red Sea to the southern end, meeting the Indian Ocean. What is happening at the Ethiopian Rift Valley? The African Rift Valley is splitting the continent of Africa into two sections. The Nubian tectonic plate is on the western side of a fault line, and the Somalian tectonic plate is on the eastern side. Both tectonic plates are young, geologically speaking, and are pulling apart from each other as volcanoes erupt, spilling lava into the widening fractures called rifts. A long time from now, geologists predict the African Rift Valley will be a new sea basin, fully separating the eastern coast of Africa from the mainland. The African Rift Valley Timelines It is necessary to understand the geologic and natural history of the African Rift Valley to fully appreciate its significant and unique value for sociological and ecological reasons. The Natural History of the African Rift Valley Geologists have identified the following timeline for how the African Rift Valley formed. Dr. Michael Gottfried at Michigan State University claims the Western Rift Valley formed about 25 million years ago, making it nearly as old as the Eastern Rift Valley. Previously, geologists believed that the Western Branch was 14 million years younger than its counterpart. This new finding means the evolution of primates and humans may also have occurred earlier than once thought. Important Facts About the African Rift Valley The Ethiopian Rift Valley has housed a diversity of people, plants and animals for thousands of years. It is for this reason that scientists across multiple fields continually study the valley, hoping to unlock more secrets about the evolution of humans and all biological life. The African Rift Valley Landscape and Ecosystem a multitude of animals and plants inhabit the valley's deserts, salt plains, grasslands, forested mountains, lakes and rivers. The western branch of the valley in particular supports more vertebrate species of wildlife than any other location in Africa. More than 50% of all African birds dwell in the Albertine Rift, another name for the western rift valley, as do 40% of all mammals, and approximately 20% of all amphibians and reptiles. For this reason, the Albertine Rift is a global biodiversity hotspot. Many protected areas exist within the Albertine Rift and are arranged within six landscapes. The following list showcases only some of the many parks and reserves positioned within each landscape. Murchison Semliki, Murchison Falls National Park, and Toro Semliki National Wildlife Reserve, plus multiple forest reserves. Greater Virunga Virunga National Park, Ruwenzori Mountains National Park, and Bwindi Impenetrable National Park are all World Heritage Sites. Maiko Itombwe, Mako National Park, Itombwe Reserve and Kahuzi Biega National Park, a World Heritage Site, Congo Nile Divide, Nyongwe National Park and Kibera National Park plus five forest reserves, Greater Mahale Ecosystem, Gombe National Park and Mahale Mountains National Park plus Tongwe East Forest Reserve, 
Marungu, Kabogo, Luama Katanga Hunting Reserve. Summary. The Great Rift Valley is a massive landscape that contains many rift basins all of which are positioned along a fault line transecting Southwest Asia and East Africa. The Eastern African Rift System or EARS lies below the Arabian Peninsula and contains the Eastern Rift Valley and the Western Rift Valley also called Albertine Rift. In each rift zone there are tectonic plates located within the Earth's lithosphere. When the upper mantle heats up within this rift zone, the Earth's crust bulges upward forcing an uprising of the land on one side of the fault plain, a graben, and a subduction on the other side, a horst. It is this faulting process that creates a rift in the land, especially after volcanoes erupt, volcanism, and ooze lava into the Earth's fractures, a process called flood basalts. In other words, the relatively new Nubian and Somalian tectonic plates are pulling away from each other. This separation forces the Earth's surface to get thinner as it expands outward, forming steep-walled rifts. Eventually, a sea basin will fully separate the eastern coast of Africa from the mainland. The Ears is the largest network of rift basins within the Great Rift Valley. It holds Africa's Great Lakes, many of which dip below sea level, and a diversity of ecosystems deserts, salt plains, grasslands, and mountainous forests. The Albertine Rift alone harbors more vertebrate species of wildlife than any other place in Africa. The ears also holds beneath its surface innumerable fossils of hominids and humans. For this reason it is known as the Cradle of Mankind because the work of paleontologists and archaeologists in ERs helps explain how humans evolved during the last hundreds of thousands of years. Don't forget to like and share this video to spread awareness.